For your winter pattern project, you have options on drawing a hat, mittens, or a sweater. The easiest thing to draw is a hat. If you want to make the card, then you're going to need to fold your card first. But if you're just going to draw a winter hat, you can make it big and you can make it fill up your whole page. The first step is to draw a rectangle with curved edges. So I used a pencil first and I just made a big rectangle at the bottom of my page. The second step is to make a big hill, but it goes in a little bit from the edges, so you're not going to line it up to your corners. You're going to make a big hill that goes up and comes back down. And the last step is to find the middle of your hill and draw lines that go out from one point. Since this project is colored pencil, you don't need to use a Sharpie. You can just use a black marker. If we were painting this project, we would have to use a Sharpie, but we're only using colored pencil to color. So you can use any black marker or a black pen if you want to outline over your pencil lines. You'll notice that when I used my black outline, I curved my rectangle lines to make it look softer, like how a hat would be. We know that hats are made out of fabric and fabric is soft, so we want it to be curved so it looks soft. So you're just going to trace over your lines, except for the edges of your rectangle. You're going to curve those lines. Sometimes when I'm tracing with marker, I'm not perfect and I go back and I erase my pencil that's showing. If you want to erase any pencil lines that are showing after you trace over it, you can. And then this lesson, I wanted you to draw something where you can show a pattern. And I wanted it to be a winter pattern. So I was going to teach you how to draw snowflakes in another video, but if you just want to do the most basic pattern, you can start by just drawing lines. So you can draw just straight lines across, and you can show a pattern in the lines, and then you can show a pattern in how you color it. In one of my examples, I um, taught you to do a pattern in the lines that you make. So you could do a straight line, a wavy line, a zigzag line, a straight line, a wavy line, a zigzag line. So whatever kind of line you want to do, just make sure that you repeat it all the way to the top. So you can show pattern in repeating a line that you draw, but you can also show pattern in how you color it. So I'm choosing to use blue and orange, which blue and orange are complementary colors. And I've chosen um, a couple different oranges and a couple different blues because I didn't know how they would look. I'm not going to make you watch me just color this, but if you do orange first and then blue next, that's how you're going to create a pattern in colors as well.